So what does this picture tell you? Okay, let me ask you another question. What does this picture tell you? Well, let me tell you. We have here two phones. One is from 2009, one is from 2013. And they almost look the same. Okay, innovation make this one smaller, thinner and bigger because the customers want bigger phones in 2013 and in 2009 well this is the thinnest they could make this is the difference I, I, I cannot say this one look much different than the other one no this if, if you go to the shop nowadays and you put 10 phones next to each other they all look the same and sorry for your Apple guys yes I know Samsung is a copy guy a copycat but if you put a, uh, uh, an, an Apple next to a Samsung or uh, next to a HTC or another, or another brand they all look the same and from the inside they are not so much difference they do the same things they have the same screen and uh, well sometimes the one is faster than the other brand and the other brand is faster a few months later this is how it goes nowadays but how did it go between 1970 and 1980 did you have copycats yes you had look at this today I'm gonna to review the Kenwood KR6500 and most brands had their own looks like the Yamaha with the small meters and the uh, nice clicking square knobs yes this was really Yamaha look and this was a typical Akai look this series is, was very popular in the time and this is how Akai look in a different style with a separate tuner and amplifier setup and why when I saw this Kenwood I thought well this is a lot of Marantz inside and yes it is because in those times Marantz was the Apple the Apple from now which is copied by Samsung that's normal because well, Apple are the inventors of, uh, of the smartphone how they look in 2013 well Marantz was the most popular brand and by many it had the best looks and uh, well it's obvious why a lot of guys thought Marantz was the best looking receiver so what did Kenwood do? well Kenwood took the same blue lights but they didn't want to see as a copycat so they didn't make it exactly the same no 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 they improved look at the dial pointer the dial pointer from the Kenwood it's much much sharper much smoother than the old fat dial pointer from the Marantz and what they do more okay they make you see the yellow the white yellow line under the blue uh, lamps well this had no no meaning only that it looks nice this one don't have this and look 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 just what's the difference just watch the difference what's the difference between this and this so Kenwood did copy Maran's looks yes the same the same knobs inside the glass yes only Maran's had this when Maran's came out with this receiver there was only brand who had these knobs behind in front of the plastic glass and well Kenwood just copied the style of Maran's but try to make a copy and try to make it better like Samsung doing with Apple now and they did a very good job in copying this so copying is not something from from now no copying always existed but did Kenwood succeed like Samsung succeed now no they didn't of course their products sold good but they never become number one no number one was 
Marans and even after the copies of Kenwood they were still number one. Kenwood was not the Samsung of the 70s, no no. Uh, they tried but they didn't succeed. Watch how nice this thing is. One thing about Kenwood, behind this is plastic and the layer is very thin, very thin, thin aluminium. So behind this aluminium, this thin aluminium is plastic and as you can see because it's not that thick, it easily damages, you know. And uh, uh, because this is the on and off button, you often use this button and because this is colored plastic it's uh, painted in chrome uh, it will lose its color after a few years and that's what happening with this unit and uh, so maybe you can if you have chrome paint you can paint it but well, I leave it like this it is uh, it have its charms to know that it's uh, used and uh, well, I clean this thing behind this faceplate, and uh, it looked much better than before the cleaning. And uh, as I told you before, this is a copy from a Marantz, a Marantz unit. And uh, Ken did a very good job in it to perfect this copy and uh, to make it even nicer because I, I, I love more this, this style. It's very nice. I also like the dial pointer, the very, it's very delicate, very small, very thin, like a real needle and uh, well, it's okay, let me zoom in, let me yes, there it is, now I zoomed in I... you see how thin this is? very nice and uh, well, let's let's check out the sound, it's the most important thing about this unit you cannot uh, give your opinion after you heard something for five minutes. I I had this tuner on for about four or five hours and not one moment uh, it was boring me. No, I, I love this sound. I really love this sound and normally if I don't like a sound of a unit and um, I cannot keep it playing for longer than one hour because it makes me tired. With this one didn't make me tired after four or five hours playing and uh, I tried different uh, different options. I tried it without the loudness, with the loudness, and I try it without the loudness, and I put two stripes extra bass because this unit is not very bassy. It is bassy when you put on the loudness, and for me the perfect setting from for this receiver is when I put everything on neutral and also no loudness, and then just two stripes of bass extra. That's for me the perfect sound. That's what I found out for myself. And uh, a lot of guys, uh, they talk about natural sound. And, well, not one receiver sound the same. If I put, let's say, five brands with five different receivers uh, next to each other and I put them all flat, well, they all sound different and some of them will sound very bassy and some of them will sound not bassy at all so for me what I like is just the two extra stripes I never met a receiver where I play real flat so the natural sound but pff, what is the natural sound you know for me there is no natural sound this just quote uh, Yamaha and, uh, invented and uh, well, you have to play your, your, your sound, your music, what you like, what your ears like. And for me, it's the extra two stripes. Let's check out the sound. Um, and it's a really nice sound. 
Chelsea en Benfica tegen elkaar in de arena. De wedstrijd wordt gefloten door de Nederlander Björn Kuipers. Het weer dan nog, op steeds meer plekken wordt het vanmiddag droog. Maar de kans op zon is erg klein. Dus een graad of 16. Morgen opnieuw flink wat regen. En... So this is the volume. Yo. Look what I have the volume. And the, the power is tremendous. C Eindhoven naar België staat bij Maastricht een korte file. 2 kilometer vanwege de werksmaat. Bij de beambten planen. Het waren bewolkt met vrij veel regen en ook vrijdag fris en regenachtig. Dag Jana Hei, bevassing, aankleding, complete uitvaart. The Free Syrian Army has said any rebel fighter who carries out atrocities will be punished. In response to a video showing a rebel commander biting into the organs of a dead soldier. We in the Radio 6 studio to say, my name is Andrew Makinga and overduidelijk niet Winfried Baes, maar hè, wij zijn collega's op deze zender en uh, ik val voor hem in omdat hij de komende dagen uh, er even tussenuit is. Iedereen verdient toch even vakantie, of niet? Ik heb er heel veel zin in. Michelin, extrait de momentum, everything you didn't do. This is my favorite uh, setting. So the bass, two stripes extra, and everything flat, no loudness. Too much loudness. Radio staan vast, please play some music. Oké, okay, uh, het is een. Spelen maken rommel, gaan ze weg. Ja. Yeah. Anyway, as you can hear, the sound of this thing is tremendous. The sound is very nice, very detailed, very. Um, the mix, the mix is 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 good enough. It's it's filling your ears. Um, the highs is 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 sometimes too much, but it's it's nice highs. It is. It, it's the soft nice nice height and the bars are so smooth it's really this is really the sound of the of, of the 70s the the warm bassy sound you well it's normally uh, the collectors always talk about Sansui, Marans and Luxman but don't forget Kenwood please because this Kenwood sounds so nice and this is only a middle one this is the KR 5600 and these things go till 9600 and 9600 is a monster receiver I hope one day I will review that one and uh, well for now you have to do it with the KR 5600 well for me I'm convinced this thing is definitely a very good receiver it is so good that I well I buy these things just for reviewing them and uh, Early I reviewed the KR3400 and I didn't like that receiver at all. 
and uh, the sound was so so and uh, it was not bad but it was not like this and uh, I didn't like the building quality from this one of course it is tricky it's, it's it is thin aluminium but if you buy a, a nice one like this one well why not and uh, well the building quality of this one is much better than the KR3400 although it's still the thin metal thin aluminium and uh, what I like from this unit is of course it sounds it sounds good very good uh, I I love this thing so much I normally after filming I put them back on the market because I'm not a collector but I cannot let this thing go for a normal price if they don't want to pay 150 euro I don't sell it I will keep it and it will be the first the first yes the first thing in my maybe something what's gonna be a collection I don't know maybe I will become a collector when I do well it is all because of this one because I cannot let it go for the same money I bought it normally I sell these things uh, for the same money or sometimes I even lost money when I put them back on the market but this one well this one I want more much more almost a double and that's because well I think it's uh, I, I, I watch I, I I check the prices on the internet and uh, I am putting it back much more than the prices they normally sell so and that's because I don't really want to sell it so this is my first receiver for my collection so from now on thanks to this Kenwood Kenwood model KR5600 I'm a collector and who who would ever thought that I would start my collection with the Kenwood after my last review of the Kenwood KR3400 so anyway uh, thanks for watching my video and um, if you have questions about this receiver just ask them if you're not a subscriber from my channel please subscribe if you like my video please put your thumbs up and uh, uh, well that was me for now thank you very much bye bye